I was going through a tumultuous period in my personal life. But I started to take these selfies. One day I was, I was like, oh, I can make this into a quilt. And I did. I was so excited because it's never occurred to me to translate this very fast, private medium. That was really exciting for me. I hid a little bit what I was doing because I was shy, shy about sharing my body and making these quilts that seem on the one hand salacious and kind of narcissistic and on the other hand I felt like they were a very feminist, they felt very liberating and me being in control of my own image and presentation. I got into working with textiles it was a combination of being completely on accident and it felt like exactly the right thing to do, uh, like a stumble. I started making baby blanket and then I realized that I could do a lot more with the medium. And then I realized I had a lot of learning to do before I could do what I envisioned doing with it. There were a few years where I was making a lot of baby blankets and clothes and developing my skills. Then by talking to other people who worked with fabric, I realized I could do more complicated designs. My name is Amy Subak. I'm mostly a textile artist, but I also do some social practice art and painting. And I think this work for me is part of exposing my wounds, exposing the things that are bothering me, that are wrong with America, that are happening to all of us. The climate change quilts were a way for me to slow down my processing of what's happening to the world, what we're doing to the world, and force people to look at it. When I started going gray in college, I got like a little widow's peak. Before then, I dyed my hair a lot. Like I had blue hair and green hair and purple hair and pink hair and red hair. And then I started going gray, and then I stopped dyeing my hair because I wanted to go gray like my grandma. Mm -hmm.